everyone, it's Jaden back with another freaking video. If you do not know me, my name is Jaden. Hello and welcome to my channel. I have some news. And so if you're new and you know nothing about me, you might want to go back on some older videos and catch up because I'm about to give a life update. I'm about to spill the beans. I was posting on Instagram, you know, a couple times about something that I had to tell you guys. And if you've read the title and if you're here, you know that we have decided to postpone our wedding. Quick disclaimer, Noah and I are still happily together. We uh, have a very healthy relationship, a very happy relationship, and none of this has to do with our relationship. I just have to put that out there because people are obviously going to assume. So I just want to say none of it has to do with anything that I'm going to talk about. So postponing our wedding was a really hard, really, really, really hard decision for us. And honestly, it's still kind of hurt my soul a little bit a couple weeks ago we hit a bump in the road um financially and we realized that to have our dream wedding we are not as prepared financially as we'd like to be and we are living in an apartment right now but we are going to be moving out of it in august back in with my mom because we want to buy a house so due to the fact that we're not gonna have as much money as we wanted for the wedding and the fact that we wanna buy a house, we kinda started to weigh our options and we decided that no matter what, we're gonna be together and so we decided to postpone the wedding. The wedding is now going to be sometime towards the end of 2022, which is crazy. And we are going to be getting a house towards the end of this year, around the time we were gonna get married or towards the very beginning of next year. So we're gonna move out so we can save up as much as we can, you know, fix our credit a little bit. And I know I don't share as much about that as I should because I know a lot of you probably have no idea about anything having to do with buying a house, credit, um, none of that because we're all still learning where you guys are pretty much around my age and if not, you're a little bit older so you know, but I am only 22, Noah is only 22. So we have decided that our best option for our future is to get a house first and then get married. So our priorities are definitely a little bit different. I'm bummed because you know, I already got my dress. Still love my dress. Um, it comes in in September, so I haven't officially got it, but I picked it out. We had pretty much everything booked except for catering. So now we just have a lot more time to plan and to do what we need to do. That way, if anything does happen, if a speed bump occurs again, we don't have to worry about it because we know we're going to have the money saved in an account. It just It makes it easier and less stressful for us, even though the wedding was pretty much planned. It's just weddings are really, really expensive, especially if you have as big of a vision as I. I did and I don't want to settle for anything less so um, I'm definitely not one of those girls who has a no budget wedding we are strictly budgeted and that's okay there's nothing wrong with having a no budget there's nothing wrong with having a budget but because of the fact that we do have a budget we have to abide by that when things change plans change and so as of right now the new day is still up in the air I am really sad it's been like a couple weeks since we found out about this I had just kind of been coping with everything Thing. and you know taking it in being sad and feeling my feelings about it I'm definitely bummed I've definitely cried about it definitely been mad I'm going through all the emotions of it because everyone else you know all the other influencers I know or friends whatever are getting married this year and it's like damn well now mine doesn't get to happen yet like I have to wait so we're hoping that it'll be October through December towards the end of the year but I'm kind of trying to stay away from December because I feel like it's too long so I was hoping for like September October November September October was probably like a better time because it's like a year and some months away not like a year and six months away which I know time will fly it's just we really wanted to get married and it sucks and I even asked him about going to the courthouse and he said no he wants our day to be special and he wants us to get married on that day because we are putting a lot of money into it so talked about it endless conversations you know we even went to the beach and when Noah and I go to the beach normally it's for us to just kind of like get away refresh reset at the end of the day Noah and I will be getting married 
it, we are going to be together and so that's not going to change but the housing market may change and to just be able to get ourselves in a solid home that'll just make our future so much more stable and secure because then we'll be able to pay less for an amazing home than we are for this amazing apartment because we pay way too much for our one bedroom apartment um and we could be paying that price if not less for a three or four bedroom house so we're definitely looking into that working on some things and adulting it sucks it really 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 does but it's for the best and i'm just gonna leave it at that i've had a lot of support you know i've had a lot of people telling me and giving me advice and talking to me it doesn't necessarily make me feel better because i know like i'm the one me and like my mom and a couple other people are the ones that really have been putting in work towards like planning the wedding and uh, i was hoping i was gonna cry because y'all love a good cry but I think I've gotten over it enough to not cry because it's been so long. So like I said, a few dates are in the works right now, trying to figure out what works for everyone. That is not all I want to talk about this video. I wanted to do a, in general, life update. So I know that I came back on YouTube, I did like a little update when I came back, but a lot has happened in that time, so I figured why not ask some questions on Instagram and just get right into it. Alright, so if you do not follow me on Instagram, be sure to do that. My Insta is jaden.ashley, and let's just get into this Q&A. Let's pick a few questions. So, uh, a lot of these are how are wedding planning going questions, and so obviously wedding planning is kind of come to a halt. A lot of it was planned already due to our venue decorating everything. Everything that we need to do is just book stuff, and so... All we have to do now is just change the date to the date that we do end up deciding and then um, obviously get Noah's suit and stuff, but we don't have to do that for a while. You know, kind of just taking a break on wedding planning, focusing on other things like my business, like my podcast, like the channel, um, like Noah and I trying to buy a house. So there's still a lot going on. Um, how's working out slash eating healthy been going for you? So I do not eat healthy. I have been working out for like two or three weeks. So I'm going to say I'm on week three, definitely week three. And I've actually gained weight. I don't eat the best. I feel like I don't eat like terrible junk food, but I do eat salty foods. And because the weight that I have is so much compared to what I did have, it's been hard to lose it. I've heard, you know, gaining weight's easy, but losing it is hard. Not for everyone. Sometimes it's really hard for people to gain weight. For my body type specifically, it was really easy to gain all that weight. And now I'm really struggling with losing it. So it's been good. I definitely feel like I have a little bit more energy. I'm a little more motivated. You know, every morning I wake up and I go to the gym with my mom and then we go to work. So we have our little routine going. Things have been a little crazy because we are renovating her office at the moment. And, uh, you know, our schedule isn't as solid as it used to be. But... It definitely feels good to get my body moving. Noah said he noticed a difference in my face. Like one day we were just laying down and he was like, Jay, I think your face is slimming out a little bit. Like he was so excited for me because he knows how much I've been struggling with my weight gain but he's been very supportive making sure that i'm going and so eating healthy can be kind of expensive also and i y'all i am a middle class bitch i don't make a crap ton of money on my channel i make enough some people probably would be like why are you still doing it but i love it so much so i'm gonna continue to do it until probably the day i die not really but definitely gonna take a little bit more time for me to really you know get my body how i want because it's changed so much my metabolism is so much slower what's your next move after the lease is up so i did talk about this at the very beginning of the video but if you're kind of skipping through we are moving out of our apartment august 27th back into my mom's house so my mom has a pretty big house she has like two extra rooms in her house and my sister lives there too so uh, we're just gonna move back into the room that we were in when we moved in and that sucks also but we're doing it to save money because living in this apartment with the bills that we do have we aren't really saving anything and it's been really hard to you know save for the wedding pay for wedding stuff and then also try and save for a house like it's it's almost impossible so we are truly lucky and blessed to be able to move back in with my mom for a few months while we save a shit ton of money and uh, yeah so our next move is moving back in with my mom and that, that 
is going towards us moving into a house of our own. How did you grow your hair so fast? I need to know the secret. So my hair actually is growing. Like I literally got it done like nine weeks ago and it's always grown pretty quickly. I feel like it's not as long as it actually is, but I want it like down here, like long and curly, you know, super luscious. I have a hair care routine video that is going to go up. I'm gonna leave it at that because if I go into too many of the products this video will just be way too long <laughs> How are you doing mentally coming from someone who also struggles with anxiety? Honestly, the last few weeks have been very hard for my mental health and my anxiety. I don't take any medication I just smoke like a CBD pen and It helps me sometimes that I keep saying like I need to get something else for my anxiety because I will just be sitting down My anxiety would be really bad like just talking about it now just makes my head spin makes me feel bad Especially because I was having a little bit of health issues and still have to go to the doctor for that. So it's okay. It's managed currently, but some days it is a little out of control and all I can do is just try and breathe through it and distract myself because I am not on any medication. I did start taking a acne medication. I want to say it's like spirolact something something put it right here for you guys. My dermatologist recommended it for me because my skin isn't clearing up as much as she like, especially because I've been on the topicals for a while now. And I think I talked about that in a video, the topical creams that I was using. So I am using that and there's no sign of like weight gain and any of the symptoms or anything. I think the biggest symptom was going pee a lot and I've been taking it for like five days now and I haven't noticed anything. I'm being very aware and very cautious. That's probably why my anxiety has been a little crazy too. Taking a new medicine. Last time I did that I gained 40 pounds. Are you still doing the lash school? So I never actually went to like a lash school. I did a lash class and going to a lash class does not actually certify you to do lashes legally. Like, if you wanna do lashes legally, you have to be an esthetician. Um, so I did get a lash certificate from the lady that does my lashes, Lash Babes Jax here in Jacksonville, but I could get in trouble for doing lashes if I don't go to esthetician school or cosmetology school. So I, I don't plan on doing either of those. I went to cosmetology school for a little while and it just wasn't for me. Like I try a lot of things and I find out it just wasn't for me. I feel like it would have been nice to finish cosmetology school, but I just couldn't do it anymore. Like it took a lot of passion and dedication to finish cosmetology school. I feel like esthetician school, I would have definitely enjoyed more because I care more about like skin and nails and like your body and cosmetology was straight hair. So if you're looking to do cosmetology school, definitely um, do your research for real before you do it. Look at the curriculum. So no, not in lash school. Do you still owe money from when you dropped out of school? No, actually, I finished paying that off before Noah and I moved out of our apartment. So I had what's called a GI Bill from the military. My dad is a retired army pilot, so he had GI Bills for his children, and I got that, and so I used that for all the years that I went to school, and because I dropped out of cosmetology school early, I did owe them money, and so what I had to do was go back to regular school, and that paid off the cosmetology school, if that makes sense. I think I went for like one more semester and I had everything paid off. So school wise, I am debt free. But for those of you who actually pay attention and like really know me and know my life, I am getting my debt down. Okay, I have got it down tremendously because we are going to be buying a house. I know that I have to do better and that's another reason we need to move out so I can get more of that other debt down like credit card debt. Credit cards are the devil. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of questions about kids. I know Noah and I want to max. Like, I don't think we want any more than that. And we are not planning on having kids until after we're married. We'll probably wait like a year or so so we can enjoy like, you know, married life and enjoy our home and our house. Cause I know we plan on getting like a three bedroom and that's gonna be my office and then he's gonna have an office and we even bicker about it and like play around sometimes like if we have a boy then he's taking your office but if we have a girl she's taking mine and I'm like it's not happening so if we get a four bedroom house I feel like we're definitely more prone to having a child sooner not until after we're married of course but um we definitely just financially don't think it's smart for us to do and we just want to enjoy our young relationship our young life um because a child totally changes it and we want to be prepared for that how has moving out affected your mental health it's a roller coaster for sure moving out is a big deal like 
a big deal and I've moved out three or four times now but I've never moved out like actually living with a guy so living with Noah has just made our relationship so much better when money is tight it stresses us out but that's the only thing that ever really causes stress when we moved out like if anything my mental health has gotten better because you know I'm not arguing with my sister or arguing with my mom like my mom and I's relationship is so much better now that I moved out some things my mom and I are gonna have to talk about before we move back in that way like we're all on the same page because hopefully we won't be there too too long but long enough to save do you and Noah plan to stay in Florida forever? As of right now, we plan on staying here for a while, yes. We have no hate against Florida. Neither one of us like the cold. We love the beach. If anything, we may move closer to the beach, Like, but we already live like 20 minutes, so I don't even know how that's possible without being millionaires, which we aren't. <laughs> um, we definitely love Florida, so we'll definitely stay in this area. How is Elsa in Spain? Elsa actually has a little something on her neck i'll insert a picture i saw it today and so i'm taking her to the vet really early in the morning my poor baby her and sven sometimes play fight so i don't know if maybe like he pulled a chunk of hair and like it's just a big patch my vet friend told me that it could be like a hot spot i haven't gotten her flea medication i'm a little behind on both of their new flea medication and like her yearly checkup or shots or whatever so uh, taking her tomorrow to get my baby looked at other than that, they're really good. I think this small apartment kind of makes them feel cooped up, cause especially because my mom's house was like triple the size of our apartment. Um, but they're doing good other than that. Love them. So cute. What are your current goals? So currently, I'm focused on getting healthy physically and mentally. I'm focused on starting my business, which will be launching, I can't tell you guys yet because I don't have an exact date, and then focus on, you know, Noah and I's relationship, being a happy, healthy couple, you know, talking through things, growing, because we are a really young couple who decided to get married at a young age, so we have to be, you know, on it when it comes to certain things. Like, if we argue, we have to, you know, make sure we communicate. Communication is key. That's one. And then obviously my social media, like my podcasts and other little things. So life is good. I know little things here and there kind of like get me down. But I saw a, a post on Facebook and it was like, I have a roof over my head. I have food. I have a place to sleep, a warm place to sleep. I have power and electric and all of that stuff. Like I am happy. I am healthy and I have a good life. So it's important to kind of appreciate the small things. Like when Noah and I are really going through it and we feel really stressed about everything. We're like, okay, what are we grateful? for we're grateful for all of these things even though it seems like it's kind of rough right now there are better times coming is Noah part of the planning process of the wedding or he lets you handle it things that I don't think he will care about I kind of just tell him and things that I know that he will want to be involved in I ask sometimes I ask and he's like it's up to you he doesn't really care there's a couple of things that he said that he wanted and you know I ask him he definitely is giving me full reign on like the decoration aspect of things but you know like our, our wedding songs and like little things he definitely wants to be involved in so he's definitely involved enough He's not like, okay, you just do it all. He he cares. He definitely cares. <laughs> Your new business update. So I kind of talked about that a little bit, but Jay Ashley will be launching in the next few months. I don't have an exact date, so I, I'm not just going to throw one out there. I want something solid. I actually am going to Atlanta next week with my mom to go somewhere special to help prepare for the business and, you know, do everything that we need to do. It's been a long and enjoyable process it's definitely not rushed so i'm very excited and very happy for that i feel like jay actually is everything that i've ever wanted into a brand everything that i want in other brands that i wish to see i'm putting it into my own brand so it is coming along and it's going to be amazing so if you do not follow it go follow shop jay ashley all right and last question are you still going to fscj for classes no i am no longer in college my day-to-day -day routine is monday tuesday thursday friday i'm marketing manager at my mom's allstate agency and then after i get off and then on wednesdays and the weekends i do this so 50 50 you know work life social media life i'm definitely not a full-time content creator i mean i am because it's like something i'm always worried about and doing but i definitely don't spend my entire day creating content like i used to because life and bills and youtube just doesn't pay the way that it should hi big screen hi 
baby guy. That is going to conclude today's video. So I hope I answered enough questions to make you guys feel like you're caught up. I cannot even explain how grateful I am for the support that I do have. Um, I have been losing a lot of followers. Some people don't like me. They don't like, you know, my lifestyle. They don't feel like they can connect with me or, you know, relate to me anymore. And that's fine. So the people that have stayed and have been true to me and, you know, are ride or dies, I appreciate you so much. Like, you guys are the reason I'm still doing this. Obviously, it's because I love what I do, but having that support system and the people who encourage me and, you know, interact with my posts and share my posts and enter my giveaways, it means a lot more than you guys think. So thank you so, so much. Be sure to follow all of my little ventures, my, my not my little, my big ventures, Jay Ashley, No Bra Club Podcast, and stay up to date. With everything related to me i hope you guys are doing amazing i know times can be rough we're still learning how to live life normal ish through the pandemic um actually real quick i do want to give an update on that so uh our mask mandate in florida in jacksonville sorry has been lifted i don't know if it was all of florida i really don't remember but some places still require it so no one i don't wear one unless it is required and no i will not be getting the vaccine nothing against it i don't think i'm gonna be like tracked or anything i just never gotten any vaccines before like no flu shot nothing so i already had covid um and i just i don't plan on getting the vaccine that is going to conclude today's video guys thank you so so much for watching if you did if you watched all the way till the end i appreciate you be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe turn on my post notifications head over to my instagram i love you and stay fabulous